I wanted to make this video basically to kind of explain a perspective change to you that changed my life completely. Ladies and gents, hello and welcome back to uh, to another video. I wanted to make this video basically to kind of explain a perspective change to you that changed my life completely. And it really got me to where I am now from, you know, going back four years, being 17, having no idea what to do with my life and, and being in that position where it's like, cool, do I go to university? Do I get a job? What do I do? And I did hear a perspective change that kind of like, I guess, put everything into perspective for me and massively helped me get to where I am now. And it's something that I feel like the majority of people don't really get, especially starting off. I mean, millionaires, billionaires, of course they get it. They, they live for it. It's probably what helped them. A lot of them get to where they are now as well. But for a lot of young people, probably you're the kind of person watching this that is more towards at the start of their journey. I want to explain like a, it's not even a phenomenon, I don't even know what you would call it, like a perspective change, an idea and that you can kind of think about that's going to massively, massively, massively help you as an entrepreneur in terms of making a lot of progress, making a lot of money and also in other areas of life, you know, uh, building a good network, living a good life, building a good business, getting in good shape, all that kind of stuff. So I've got like my whiteboard here, I feel like a proper like Alex Hormozy or Charlie Morgan, but hey, this is like the best way I can possibly explain it that I think is going to help it make the most sense and for you to be able to comprehend it the most as well. I want you to leave this video you're going that's fucking cool you know and I think you're gonna do that uh, with what I'm gonna explain so let me let me kind of dive into it so first things first I think the idea or the perspective of making money right and you wherever you are now if you want to make more money number one step one before you do absolutely anything in terms of starting a business and starting a side hustle it's a first rewire your perspective of how much money is the amount of money that you should kind of make or that you should be aiming to make right? Because I know when you're starting off, and I know this because I do a lot of calls with people and I do sales calls with people to, to join my program and I uh, do lots of coaching calls and stuff like that. And I know that one of the biggest positions that people are in is that they start off with a perspective, like a viewpoint um, of how much money they want to make in terms of like, cool, you know, uh, two, three, four K a month would be like an absolute dream for me. It would get me everything I wanted, blah, blah, blah. The reason that people aim quite low typically or aim with where they're comfortable with is for that reason. They're comfortable. And the reason they don't aim much further and much higher up i know that like on there's that stigma online where it's like that 10k month mark and a lot of people say i want to make 10k a month because they've heard it but realistically your perspective is like i want to make 3k so i can actually not have to work a job and do all this kind of stuff and the reason that that is your perspective is because that's what you believe is possible because the prospect and the idea of hitting 5 10k further on furthermore is so incredibly out of reach for you that it doesn't even seem feasible there's no point of even trying to hit that number and trying to aim for the 10k month mark because you're still at that 2k month mark where you want to make that 2 3k month mark and hopefully this perspective is going to massively help you change that because like I say step one to making more money is to realize and understand if you want to make more money you have to rewire your perspective on what you should be aiming for basically it's basically setting bigger goals essentially because if your goal is to make 2k a month everything you're going to be doing is going to align with that 2k a month goal you're not going to be trying to uh, make more money out of your service or sign more clients because your goal is right in front of you whereas if your goal is 10 20k a month which i know are like you know kind of cliche numbers like it firstly it means that you're going to charge your price your service higher it means you're going to put more work and you're going to do more outreach depending if you're running a service-based business or whatever it is it means you're going to aim for more clients so firstly is to kind of expand the lens that you look through in terms of what's possible but i want to talk more about like actually creating your future and i think that's an important concept because i think a lot of people just think that their future happens to them and not many people actually realize that you create your future and you change the timeline in your future. And this is what I want to talk about. This is, I think this pen's going to run in about 10 seconds, but first and foremost, I just drew all over my desk. Oh my God. So first and foremost, everybody has a timeline and your timeline will look something like this. Obviously it's a line. And depending on how old you are and kind of like where you're at in your journey and where you're trying to get to, let's just say you're 18, right? And you have a timeline and that timeline, I mean, it's up to you if you believe this or not, whether you feel it's like destiny and everything's predetermined for you. You just have to take action on it. That's your own kind of spiritual beliefs, but everyone has a timeline. And let's say this is where you are now and you have like milestones within your timeline, right? And that milestone may be like meeting your girlfriend. It may be uh, getting married. It may be having kids. Obviously I'm talking very family focused here. It may be getting that dream job that you want. It may be buying a house. It may be then, for example, getting that promotion. It may be then buying your dream car. Like everyone has a, has a timeline that is natural. You're gonna hit it regardless whether you want to or not. You're gonna hit different milestones within your life whether you want to or not. And the important thing to first realize is that 
this is going to happen again, whether you want it or not. Like you can, you can make your timeline your own thing, but it's going to happen. Time's going to keep going whether you want it to or not, and you can't stop that. You can't change that. What you can do, however, is obviously change the milestones that you want to hit. Okay, but let's just say that you don't actually do anything. You go with the flow of life. You do kind of just like coast along, go with the flow of life. These are going to be the milestones that you hit naturally, right? If you just go with the flow of life. However, you can't create your own milestones by changing what these milestones are, by changing the labels of them, no. There is already a predetermined timeline for you that is, looks like this, and it has, let's just say, different milestones for you, and they're much more, much more ambitious milestones. It's like, cool, buy your dream car at 21, go and live in Dubai, buy a penthouse apartment, and if you're like an ambitious entrepreneur, whatever it is, you already have a pre Disposition, disposition different timeline and you can't change your milestones in your timeline by just like giving it a different label and hoping for the best okay you change your timeline by taking action like as early as you possibly can so let's say this is you okay that's you right there now if you want to change your timeline again you can't change a label of it you need to change the action that you take and this action that you take isn't major action it's not like I don't know raising funds raising five million pounds and it like starting up this incredibly awesome some new company and it's like this massive event in your life that's not what changes your timeline okay let's say you're here and you want to choose what timeline you want to go down the things that change your timeline are tiny microscopic minor actions that you don't actually realize are changing your timeline and these are things such as like picking up your first finance book that opens you up into the world of finance. This is things like watching your first YouTube video. This is things like selling your first pair of AirPods online. I don't know what it could be, but it's this kind of idea. It's not the idea that like you have to do this incredibly massive thing. The, the thing that changes your timeline and dictates which one you go down, we can have another timeline here if you want, uh, which can be something even more ambitious. The thing that dictates it is one minor action, minor, minor, minor action that basically creates the future for everything. And this is like the butterfly effect. It's like the flap of a butterfly's wings can launch like a nuclear missile across the world or something like that, whatever it is. But it basically means that big results come from tiny, tiny, tiny actions. What I mean by that is that like you don't change your timeline by taking massive, massive, massive action because what tends to happen is that you're resistant to taking that massive action because you think it's so far in the future and you think it's such a hard thing to do, but it's not. Your timeline is changed by minor, minor, minor actions that you take, okay? It's the same idea, like, I don't know how many of you uh, are, like, into space or whatever, but if, like, let's just say a rock is floating through space, right, just, like, endless void into space, that rock is on a, on a predetermined course, okay? Let's just say this is the rock's course. That rock is on a predetermined course because of just the natural way of things, right? If a rock is just going through space, it's just gonna keep going. It's like Newton's law, right? You know, for something to have to change, something has to make it change, basically. That's definitely not his law, but that's the kind of message I'm getting from it. That's the rock's natural natural path, natural route. Now, the only thing that needs to happen for this rock, so let's just say, for example, this is where the rock is now, present day, and this was where the rock is in, let's just say, one million years. Right? That's where the rock will be, just floating through space. That's the natural course that's gonna happen. It's like your timeline. You're gonna to get to that point regardless, not in a million years, but obviously we're thinking longer because of space. All that has to happen for this rock to be in a completely different point of time in a million years, or you can even say a hundred years like it's a human lifespan, is that all that has to happen is this rock has to be put off course by a fraction of a millimeter. If it's put off course, because this is a natural course, if it's put off course by a fraction of a millimeter for whatever reason, let's say another rock hits it, or a stone in this in space hits it, whatever it is, or like there's human interference, it will look the same starting off, this is the rock, but what happens over time is it starts to drift, 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 drift and it's compounds. Okay, what I mean by this is that, I mean, I'm not a space expert, but this is like the idea. That's the natural course of the rock. If something impacts it, like, and makes it a, a fraction of a millimeter off course, the end result after, let's just say, a million years, is entirely different. The rock's timeline, or the, the end result of the timeline, has now changed completely because of a minor, minor, minor action that happened over here. This is an incredibly, incredibly important concept to, to understand because it's, it's you. Okay, for you to have a completely different outcome, you have to have a minor, minor, minor thing happen, or not even thing happen, but you have to take minor, minor action. And this will compound over time, like you take more and more action. But the message I'm trying to get across to you is that you don't change your life by taking massive action, not necessarily. I mean, obviously you do over time, like you start a business, you make a big decision to sell the business or to marry someone, whatever it is, that's sure, big action. But that big action only comes from taking a small action. 
okay? Because if you are 18, 19, 20, 17, 16, 25, 30, whatever it is, your life is a course. It's gonna happen. You're gonna get to 100 and die anyway, whatever it is, right? But if you wanna change the life that you live when you get to 100, you have to start taking minor action now. You have to start reading books. You have to start watching videos. You have to start sacrificing parties and going out because you actually wanna do some research. You have to start that first side hustle. And these are minor actions that will entirely create a different outcome for you. Okay, you with me so far? The caveat is, however, this end result, this one here and this one here, let's just say you're a rock. This doesn't happen instantly. This happens over a long period of time. So that's the only caveat. Although massive change happens from minor action that's taken, it doesn't happen instantly. It takes a long time to come into fruition, right? Let's say we're going back to timeline. This is like your, your predisposition timeline. It's gonna happen whether you want it to or not. You can't even see that, let me do it in red. That's gonna happen whether you want it to or not. If you want to have a different timeline where you are in control of your life, you've done the life, that you've chosen the life that you wanna live, you're still gonna start off here. Obviously that's where you are now, but it will start to veer off course. And let's say that the outcome here is like the very, very boring mundane outcome. No one wants that, you know, it's like the, you're watching this because you're an entrepreneur, you're aspirational, so that's not the outcome you want. The outcome that you want is here, okay? And this doesn't have to be like when you're 100 and die, I'm not saying that, but like let's say when you're 30 or something, right? You're either gonna have this timeline or you're gonna have this timeline. The difference starts here in the tiny action that you make to actually create this green line here. That's the idea, is that if you wanna get here and have a completely different life, you have to change things here. And now I can give you another example, and this example is more personal to me because it's exactly what I did. Now, I've had different things that I would say are like my butterfly effect in my life, where it's like, cool, that was the pivot that I made in my timeline, 100%. Like the first thing, the pivot that was made in my timeline was reading, I didn't even have the book over there because I gave it to someone else, but reading the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, right? Actually, no, it was like, even before that, I saw a video on TikTok. <laughs> I'm not even joking, this was when I was 17. I saw a video on TikTok that was talking about investing in money. I couldn't care less for it, but I obviously did like money. I'm a teenager, right? And the video basically explained it like, here's a few books you should read if you want to understand money. That was what was on the video. Here's a few books you should read. And one of them was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. If you haven't read it, fine. Some people think it's controversial because the guy's a scammer, but nonetheless, what's taught in the book is, uh, is very, very valuable. I asked my dad, I was like, hey, uh, can I get this book for my birthday or for Christmas or something? I think it was Christmas because it was the end of the year. And he went, I think I have that book. And he found it at like the bottom of a drawer, at like the back of a bookshelf. That was literally, and he found it and it was like all kind of cruffled up and stuff like that. And I read that book. And that book spiraled into me buying a lot of other books that you can see here. You can't really see them, but there's about 700 quid worth of books there. It spiraled into me buying a bunch of different books, right? But that was that one change was seeing that video, which is just like, it's ridiculous. Thinking about like, like now, thinking, gosh, watching one video changed everything for me, but it did. These minor changes will keep happening. It's not like a one-time thing. These things will keep happening over and over and over again. And it requires you to take action and take minor change. It doesn't happen to you, you have to take minor change. So reading the book was the first thing because that obviously put me onto the path of money, finance, entrepreneurship. Uh, I remember I created my first uh, TikTok video off the back of that, then grew my personal brand. Another change in my life, which was a minor, minor, minor change that I made or decision that I made that changed everything was that I like changed, sorry, no, I was posting on TikTok on one account. I started a, a business, like an influencer marketing agency, and I thought, hey, I'm gonna post uh, about this business that I'm starting. But I didn't wanna post on my TikTok account because I was like, I wanna keep that with the content that I'm currently putting out, so I'll make another account. And I posted one video on another account, so all it was is one video on a, on a random kind of brand new TikTok account. There was nothing to it, um, completely brand new. And that video pretty much, I won't say it went viral, but it popped off pretty well, like in terms of it did a lot of views, a lot of numbers, that kind of stuff. That led me to not only obviously making one video, but I made another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. And then I ended up launching a big course off the back of that because it was a lot of educational content. I was teaching people how to do things. That one video, which I just thought, hey, I want to talk about this because it's quite interesting, but I don't want to do it on my main account because I'm scared, like people judge me or whatever it is. That one video led me to make all these other videos, which led me to basically build an audience around this business model that I was running, launch a course off the back of it, go from uh, five, six K a month to 20 K a month like that. Actually, it wasn't like that. It took like three or four months to develop, but in my eyes, it was like that. The one pivot I made, made where I am now, probably about here, right? Because if I didn't post that video, I would have been posting content on TikTok, but I, I didn't have like a business of myself, of my own at that point, uh, and I was making some good money from like social media management, blah, 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 but that, 
brought to where I am now because I developed from there. I learned how to actually teach people and coach people, which was a massive change in my journey. I learned how to then like develop that, build my own business, grow as a person. And now I have like a, a much bigger coaching program uh, where I teach people how to kind of monetize a skill and take a skill and turn it into money as I did myself. And that has got me to where I am now, which is, you know, pushing on 70K a month USD, which is huge, right? In terms of like the changes that was, that was made from the tiny, tiny micro, uh, like change in my timeline. What I'm trying to say is that the way this relates back to the money at the start of the video that I was talking about is that you obviously, you know, 10K is so far away, right? But all you need is a few minor changes to make and the your timeline changes, the path that you are now naturally going down completely changes and the result or the thing that you get as a result out of that will completely change as well. And that's something you need to realize that your goals aren't very far away. They are minor changes that you make, minor, minor, minor changes that you keep acting on. Like, I'm not saying you, you just make one minor change, like you read a page of a book and then you put it down and you go, yeah, in a couple of months, it's gonna to come to fruition. You have to keep making minor changes. Don't get me wrong, keep acting on it. But it's like, it's not a big thing that's so scary. What I'm trying to say is that if you wanna make 10K a month, you don't have to do something terrifying and scary and something that's gonna take like all your energy and it's a big change, it's a big change in your life, blah, blah, blah. Minor, minor, minor changes and your timeline will change completely from where you are naturally going. And like, you can believe in destiny or whatever it is, like where you say, I have a destiny and everyone set out for it, it's up to you. But I think everyone has a normal timeline, which is where they just go with the flow and everyone has a timeline that they can change. There's millions of timelines that they can change because I could make the change of, I don't know, eating a bug for whatever reason. And I really liked eating the bug and actually thought, wait, I'm gonna eat more bugs. And I started eating more bugs and then I started living in the wilderness. And now I was went back to becoming like a caveman. Like, I don't know, right? What I'm trying to say is that it'd be one minor change that could change your timeline completely. Um, so yeah, what I'm trying to say is that your goals aren't as far away as you think they are. They are one minor pivot, one minor change to actually hit them. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised is what I'm trying to say. But hopefully this makes sense and you enjoyed this kind of like awful diagram that I was drawing the entire time. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is, uh, Go change the timeline.